the only thing worse than staying with a narcissist for four years is four years and a day. Meaning you do not want to fall for the sunken cost fallacy. Like you've put this many years in, this many months in so far, so you should just keep going. Maybe you're making progress. What if they're different for the next person? I can promise you they're going to be exactly the same. Narcissists cannot take any accountability. They do not change. They just keep being explosive with each new person. You know how it's gonna go with their new supply. They're gonna get love bombed. They're gonna think they met the love of their life. Then they're gonna get devalued. Then they're gonna get discarded and hoovered. And then when that person can't take it anymore, they're gonna jump to the next person and the next person because narcissists cannot be alone. Their entire identity depends on their external supply. That's why you're called supply. You supply their identity. So get out of your head about the potential of what the narcissist could be and start to look at what the narcissist has been and start to think of how can I escape from this abusive person who continues to treat me worse and worse. Getting out of these relationships is the hardest thing ever, but it's a short amount of time compared to dealing with this person for the rest of your life. You tried your hardest to make the relationship work. You did everything. You got into therapy, you started reading books, you started doing research, you tried to change everything about yourself. You're trying to appease someone who will never be pleased. And the sooner that you reclaim your self-worth from this narcissist who's crushed it into the ground, the sooner that you say, I'm not gonna jump just because you tell me to jump, I'm actually gonna go that way far away from you, is the moment that you get your emotional freedom back and the path to getting your life back. Even if you have to co-parent with them, you should be striving to go as close to no contact as humanly possible. The only way to get out of this thing is to interact with the narcissist as little as possible, preferably no contact, because at this point, they know exactly what to say and do to manipulate you. They have been studying you, they can read you really well, and they're going to do those tactics that suck you back in. So don't let it happen in the first place. Remove yourself from the toxic situation and get your life to a track where you can feel truly healthy and happy without the narcissist. And if you need an escape plan or trauma bond breakage, you can email me for one-on-one -on -one narcissistic abuse recovery coaching. My email's in my bio.